There's a reason PCOS is making you so exhausted. This is part two in the new to PCOS series. With PCOS, we tend to ride a blood sugar roller coaster and it's caused by two major things. The influence of stress hormones like cortisol that raise our blood sugar and our body's resistance to insulin, which is a hormone that helps bring our blood sugar back down after meals. It's the confluence of these two hormones, insulin and cortisol, fluctuating throughout the day that tend to drive a lot of the PCOS symptoms that we're familiar with, like facial hair, irregular periods, and cystic ovaries. What this feels like in your body can look a couple of ways. Either you feel more energized after meals, but you're crashing a couple hours later, and maybe you're even feeling weak or shaky or getting a headache and needing a snack, or you're super fatigued after meals and feel like you really need a nap and you need caffeine to push through. As a nutritionist, I can't expect you to make really long-term changes to your PCOS when you're feeling that tired. So the first step to PCOS management is regulating your energy levels. We're gonna talk about some simple solutions to that in the next video, but I am curious if these things ring true for you. Let me know in the comments. And if you're ready to start right now, you can check out my new course, PCOS Foundations, that helps walk you through these first changes. I will see you in part three.